the view is insane i'm a girl i'm just a girl i had him on a jamaican muscle shirt i don't want to talk about it i don't want to talk about it. i really miss medicine i really really miss medicine baby i'll be bringing that piece of paper up every time i get the chance because it was so damn expensive Hurts. Sorry. Kill. Where are the jobs? Buenos dias, mis amores. Welcome back to a vlog. Happy Monday. It's Monday morning. We just got done with one thing. On to the next. So um i'll give y'all a rundown of the week i'm getting up to go to the grocery store right now but on friday i'm taking my boyfriend to this cabin in like the longa i don't know how to pronounce it babe i am not from georgia and i just live i live in atlanta okay i stay in atlanta but yeah um i'm taking him to this cabin this weekend i'm completely surprising him I just told him the date. He knows nothing else. So I'm going to make sure that we have everything. I'm going to pack both of our bags. I'm renting a car for us to drive out there just so we're not putting wear and tear on our car. It's only an hour away, so it's nothing crazy. And I did partner with the brand, so I'll link the cabin that we're actually going to down below because they were super sweet, super responsive. Um, so shout out to them for making this happen for us because I thought that was super cute so that's this week's plan and then i also need to go see the baby he's not a baby i mean stop out he's not a baby he's he's nine he's gonna be 10 and he acts like he's 25 but anyway but i need to see him too so i'm probably i think it makes a lot of sense also for me to stay over there one of the days towards the end of the week so i want to go over there tonight because i miss nugget and like i just haven't really seen him this past week because the girl has been busy but i also want to um do thursday going into friday that way friday morning i can get up and pack our bags because like I'm gonna pre-pack all my stuff, everything that I'm taking, like easy peasy lemon squeezy. Place has a jacuzzi. I'll do a full room tour of the place here and over on TikTok if you wanna see it. But um yeah. So I'm gonna try to plan to stay over there Thursday going into Friday. Friday, get up, pack his bag, have it ready. I'm gonna go grocery shopping because I'm gonna grab some steaks um because he they have a grill too and i know he's gonna want to grill and just be able to relax and i know you're like girl you're gonna have him working he likes grilling so like that's just one of his things so i'm gonna make it so my baby can grill because it's what my baby want my baby get okay yeah so we're gonna do that and we're only staying one night because but we got stuff to do okay um but that's that one that and it should be really cute. I was going to like give him a packing list, but I feel like if I gave him the packing list, then he would know what we're doing. So I didn't want to give away the surprise because I already, I wanted to do this thing anyway. So I was like, I'll just pack it. I know what he wants. I have an outfit in mind. If the outfit's not clean, I'm just gonna wash it. Like I'm like putting all the pieces together in my head, I made a little, ow. I made a little list of like what we'll need to make sure we have everything and I'm not gonna go to the grocery store I'm gonna go to the grocery store today because I'm making him lunch today but I'm gonna go to the farmers market later on in the week so I can get him really nice steak um I don't I don't know a lot about steak so I'm just gonna buy I'm going to ask the butcher, like, good steak, and I'm going to kind of let them go. I know my boyfriend isn't a super fan of filet, like filet mignon, so I'm not going to get that. And I don't think filet mignon does as well on the outside grill. I don't cook steak. I'm getting him steak. I said steaks. I'm getting him steak. I'm going to have him grill me some salmon because um, it will start March, and I'm on my little diet thing. 
in March. And I also have midterms this week. I don't feel like I've talked about school a lot because me and school, we just, we're not getting along right now. We're not doing bad, but we're not doing great. Um, so I just have not talked a lot about school. But yeah, we have midterms this week too. So that's another reason why we're only staying one night instead of staying the entire weekend. But if he likes this, I would be open to staying the entire weekend because it like, he's very woodsy, outdoorsy. He's he's a mahogany wood man. If you know, you know. Um, and I am not. <laughs> I'm not that person. I'm not that girl. Like I am very clean, aesthetic, indoor cat type of girly. So the plan is that, like, I already have everything by the time he gets off of work, and he just come straight to my house. I have his change of clothes. We hop on the road. He don't know where the fuck we going. And we get there. That's the plan. And he'd be like, oh my God. So that's what we're doing. Um, let's go to the grocery store first so I can make the soup. Because I've had the soup in my mind. And it's actually going to be in the 70s today. But I really want it. And I think that's because my period is going to start. And I'm taking my period this week. It hasn't even started yet. And she needs to hurry up because Friday... I'm getting crack bent linked. If I come back pregnant, no, I didn't. to get some more cumin so I don't have any fucking cumin whatever I need at this very moment what are you talking about Flight, 
try to fight, nigga, can't even see me on way out of here, I'm too far in the sky. Heard me, it's ash for the dog, my ash. Bitch, so pretty, little better than Cassie. Puffin' on Zooters, she callin' me daddy. Walkin' on shit, turn it up and I guess. Came out the gutter, they never me the swaggin'. Secure the bag, got a bitch, I'm a beggin'. Turnin' it up, got a make sure she good. Park up two mil in the middle of my hood. Takin' no mud, I made out of the sewer. Grow hard and sense me, do that one good. Out of these niggas, they lookin' the same. They cops my lingo, they bite in my chain. Championship, championship, man, just gon' empty shit. Bitch, break a nigga, just look at the key. Turn it to the fountain, but make it account of the bro. Get this money like they from religion. This could be a man, they have had it for any deed. Nigga, they try to compare with him, but I did. Them that touched on hundreds, they just have to get. They came out the jungle, they kidnapped the kid. I turned by the bellows, been put on the crib. But look at the ocean, it's my 30 M. Ain't no one met to the city I'm in. I keep me no fully, no matter what I'm in. I have such an edge, so I'm back to Korean. You fuck with me, good bitch.
like a pussy little bitch. Damn, my nigga, you trippin'. You could've been superstar. Yeah, but now I'm reminiscing. Remember we were checking cars. Now you better keep your distance, cause it's not safe for you. You switch like a pussy little bitch. Drag out with the kicks, snatch off on the bitch. When I slide, nightlight on the blip. Bet I'm on my shit when I'm outside. So they don't ran down, call them pants down. Nigga, you shit it. I knew the perk was fake, but I still ate it, cause I'm a grill. That a nigga ain't lying. Too much respect. All of my shorty BDs, they know not to try. Too much respect. I used to hand out CDs before they would buy. Well, she loved me so much, it seemed like she buys. Niggas don't know how I live, but that's cause they live at the high. Full hey. S13 stepping on shit to this pot. He brought me the money sealed up. I still had to count it, I cannot just hide. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's that sex in the bank. Tell her to open a safe. I hear the privileged rapper who don't even know what it takes. The diamonds they hit like a rainbow. That's cause the necklace of Frank. Her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's that sex in the nines. Breaking and bending the spines. I hear the privileged rapper that they had to hit six times. Niggas be full of excuses. That lady taking their time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at me dead in my eyes, you see all the time that I had to go slide. Too many sticks, we go to war with whoever ain't never been by. Too many sticks, I was dead, yo, ops, and none of them died. Pussy, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Why you pull up at one in the morning and sit on the edge of the bed? Testing emojis, till I got eggplant busting went over her head. Catching my side of the studio, make him repeat what he said. Pussy, yeah. Let's have sex in the car. The Maybach came with a bar. I'm wiping my dick with a bra. Snipe his ass. He got hit in the head before. Pops get undivided attention. I give them my all. How you come over the spot when you know it's your time in the morning? How? Make a distance. See how fast you go from the boot to a blunt. She say she hungry. I gave a dick for bun. Send me my whole fee. I don't do back ends and flanks. No, no, that's that sex in the bank. Tell her to open a safe. I hear the privileged rapper who don't even know what it takes. The diamonds they hit like a rainbow. That's cause the neck is a frame. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's that sex in the nines. Do it. Breaking and bending the spines. Do it. Do it. I hear the privileged rapper that ain't had a hit since his time. Do it. Niggas be full of excuses. That like they taking their time. I get my shooter wet, eating cheese and that. 
songs in love with West. How you did that? You hear some skeletons in your closet. Why you did that? They hit your man, you ain't get no strength. How you live with that? She fucked up.
Alright, in the meantime, while that's cooking, I'm just going to fill some empanadas I have made. Filling, close it. So we're going to heat that up. Fill the discs. She used rotisserie chicken. I just didn't think about that because I just, I be making them so. And all the seasonings that are in my house that are still not in proper containers, we're going to take care of it. We're going to take care of it. We're going to take care of it. I promise. I just haven't done it. But I went ahead and got my onion broken down and it's freezing. The onion that I did use, I always like any of my, um, produce that you have to buy in like large bulk because I make such I would say small meals I just go ahead and like cut them up the way I would normally use them because I only used onion in one size so I'll go ahead and cut it up I do the same thing with like stuff you gotta carrots I've had that carrot for a while but carrots celery bell pepper I do this with bell pepper just break them all down I just keep them in baggies in the freezer that way they're easy for me to like grab and go and I don't have to like always go and buy like pre-chopped veggies. And I do think taste-wise it does make a little bit of a difference. Like I cook a lot of different things, but I cook at such small quantities that I don't need a whole onion for anything like damn near ever. I hope this is enough. I hope I have enough discs for the amount of meat that we're using. And then my cheeses. We love a chihuahua and then a Mexican for cheese is my cheese of choice. They're frozen, so I'm just going to set them outside because it's fairly warm, so I can leave them out there for like an hour, and we'll come back to this part. While we're waiting on that, um, let's go get a little bit of work done. I've been downloading the parts of the vlog so I can edit it. Be my own best friend, be myself and I 
packing and like a boyfriend's packing list to my packing list his list glasses contact lens in case I think I have a baby contact solution over here so I already have it set up where <coughs> I'm going over there Thursday I'm gonna do school drop off and then after school drop off I'm gonna pack his bag and then come home so today is me just running around and picking up the random stuff we need so we're trying to bathing suit i'm gonna get the meat i'm trying to decide if i should get the meat today or wait till friday i might wait until friday that way i can go to the farmer's market and get like something really good toothbrushes we need new travel toothbrushes anyway and i need to replace the heads on our toothbrushes so i'll do that tequila we need a cooler, but I think he has a cooler in his freezer. So I'm going to wait <laughs> to see. If not, I'll just go back one Friday morning and order. So, I'm going to But the swim trunks and bathing suit, I want to get that, like, right now. Mm. Y'all already know what I'm gonna eat for breakfast. My little hash in my hole that I've been like obsessed with. That's already in this morning. Anyway, but um, yeah, I wanna see if he wants lunch today because I kinda wanna make these steak bites and I have some potatoes in there that I wanna use. What am I doing? We're putting the bacon in. I'm not gonna keep my bacon this morning. I told y'all my starts in a couple days, and I told y'all I'm gonna try to like not do any like fast food and like, minimize myself to eating out. I say three times a week because like I low-key end up eating out like once per day on the road. Like, not fast food, but, like, a meal outside of the house. And I know my boyfriend doesn't cook. So if I'm over there, I kind of, you know, falls to the wall type of ordeal. So I think three times a week is doable for me. I also want to increase, like, my veggie intake. It's just little pieces of fat falling off. I said I was going to like chill out on the red meat, which that's not a big issue because like this, the beef bacon is probably the most prominent red meat thing that I eat. And I don't, I don't like turkey bacon. I don't like turkey bacon. I like turkey sausage though. It's just the bacon. So maybe I'll start eating turkey sausage again. But nugget doesn't like turkey sausage, so that's why I think I stopped. That's why I think I stopped buying it. I'm sorry if I'm whispering. I'm like, oh, he's a lot of work. <laughs> she big and can barely breathe. 
bacon. I'm snacking a little bit. This morning, it's not an egg roll. Oh shit! It's clean. Yes. I did dishes yesterday. I like. That one was perfect. Is it me or is it the egg? If you don't want the extra fat from the milk, you can use um, water for this part too. Anybody that I've seen do this, I don't see them use like black pepper, so hopefully black pepper doesn't like mess with the egg. Alrighty, we just got out of Tredarius Joe's house. Um, we are on our way home. I was supposed to go in there and spend like 50 bucks, maybe. I spent 70, but that's okay, that's okay. Cause I really don't be coming to Trader Joe's that often. So I'm not even too mad at myself about it. I did go to Target also. I'll show y'all what I got at Target. I was going to take y'all in the store with me. I did take y'all in the store with me. But it's so many people out right now. Where are the jobs? Like, damn. I just feel so... I try to go during the day. So I'm not outside with a bunch of people. And like, it's so many people outside. It's so many people outside. And then... I'm on my period right now. It'll be over tomorrow. It started yesterday. Right? I'm on my period right now. And I have on gray biker shorts. High school me is so traumatized. I wore uniforms in high school. So we wore beige bottoms and navy tops in my school district. Bitch! Alright. You're fine. Anyway. Beige bottoms and navy tops. And I'm so traumatized because I'm so scared to like bleed through light colored clothes. So I got a two hour outside max when I got on light colored stuff, okay? Like I gotta go home. And then day two is like, that's full bleed day. Like that's when I gotta change my tampon like every two hours, right? Ah, shit. And I just be scared. So I'm going home. <laughs> it's time to go home but we did get a handful of stuff i did like short format record so i was a little ticky talk about what we got from tradarius house um and then i was on the phone with my baba on the way here i hope y'all can hear me i'm sorry anyway i was on the phone with my baba on the way here and she was talking about our family reunion and why i told honey like i was like um you know i want to go see my grandparents and like i was talking nugget i didn't have to talk nugget into it because he wants to go to my hometown anyway because like if y'all don't know actually i don't want to talk about it anyway but like if i want to do stuff like that i have to take care of the accommodations which is fine anyway so i was gonna go like around mother's day so I could go spend time with my baba, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, she was talking about the family reunion. Why is the family reunion the week in that I want to go see them? And she's not 100% sure that she even wants to go to the family re reunion. And I'm like, okay, well, 
I mean, if we, it's, it would technically be easier for us to go to the family reunion than it would to go up there. And it would be more stuff for us to do because if y'all don't know, I hate going to Indiana. I hate visiting Indiana, but my grandma hates traveling. And my papa wanted to go to Louisiana anyway. So hopefully he can talk her into going. And I'm like, if y'all go like, let us know because I need to make sure I have accommodations for not just one person, but for three people. Like if that's what we gonna do and it just happens to fall on the same weekend i wanted to go because that's my weekend in between before like our summer semester starts back so i was like girl um let me know so i need to talk to my aunt my great aunt my baba's sister to like see if she can email me all the stuff about it because like they were talking about the pricing and it's a hundred dollars per person but if you do three or more and we would just register i would register like my family and like my grandparents and stuff i would just register us all together so that we get the discount so they don't gotta worry i would just end up paying for all of us and then we just gotta worry about like our accommodations and i know you're like Ali, you can just go like without your baba i can't so it's my baba's family not my papa but like I don't know enough of them like I know like some of my great aunts I have one that like I talk to pretty consistently like that I kind of grew up around but yeah but we'll talk about it more once we get in the house because I just don't want to bleed through nothing I don't want to bleed through nothing oh I hate this fucking hole oh my god ah shit 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 toothbrushes but I just new ones for travel and then I found this pajama set I saw this at the other target but they didn't have it in my size it's these pants it's more it's, it's more loungewear than pajamas because I don't like wearing pants to bed because oh, it's really hot. You're like, I'm not doing that. and then it has like a little tank so like to get up to like make breakfast and stuff you know because I'm a full-time creator oh it has little booty pockets is it a real pocket? No, but whatever. So they also had it in a brown color, but I got it in this color because I thought it was cute. So that's all that came from Target. From Shaveria's Joe, we got some flowers. We're gonna do a little flower arranging, arranging in a second. Cute. Y'all, when I got home, I wasn't bleeding through anything. My it was just sweating. So that's 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 where we are. I got this succulent, which it it already had a little flower. I'm excited about it. But um, I'm about to change out my desk. I'm getting a new desk in my office. We're getting a new desk and a new computer and a new lens this week. And so I thought this would be cute to go in the office and it was like my it's the pink and white of course so i love this so much 
So that's for the office. I spent $74.21. I got my favorite yogurts. Um, this is the peach and mango half and half yogurt. I love the texture of these yogurts, even though they're regular yogurt, because sometimes I will only eat Greek yogurt because sometimes regular yogurt like gives me the heebie-jeebies. I don't know how to explain that. I don't know. Let me know if you have that same thing, but some it's a texture thing. But I like yogurt. I don't know. I got these Trader Joe's Papa Rayanas. Papa Rayanas, which they kind of remind me of Shepherd's Pie. They're mashed potatoes stuffed with seasoned ground beef. I'm gonna take this with us to the cabin. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a separate bag. And it's like brand new. The guy was telling me like they just got on the floor today. Can I fit these in a small bag? You think they can fit in a small bag? I think they can. You would probably fuck with these to like take to lunch one day. Like with a side salad because they remind me of like shepherd's pie that's this is what made me actually go there because i was like i just know i wouldn't care would fuck with this so but that's what made me go anyway salmon we're gonna this is gonna be my dinner to have to throw on the grill at the place i got these chicken tikka samoas those are for me cotton candy grapes because I eat these like crack. They're so good. I guess more hash browns. Y'all know I love hash browns. Trader Joe's has the best hash browns. I don't know what they put in them, but they have the best hash browns. I got this um, orange chicken bowl and it has like fried rice and orange chicken. And then I also got some Korean beefless bulgogi. This does have soy in it and I'm technically not supposed to eat soy, but if I just eat like it one time it doesn't bother me but if i eat soy every single day you're gonna think i have Crohn's disease anyway, i think i'm gonna eat the orange chicken bowl for lunch today the rest of this i'm gonna pop into z freezer let's separate out our grapes so we can wash them I literally just bought grapes. That's just how quick I will go through like good grapes because I love cotton candy grapes so much. I will run through them. These shits were ten dollars for this container. And I'm like, oh, you better be happy that I have a problem. Y'all know what else I want to do? I want to try to make. Um, let's get it. I was about to lie. I was about to say I want to try to make something. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, no, no. The more I think about it, no, I don't. Actually. No, I don't. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. We're still going to wash them. You know the drill. Definitely separating down my fruit. Like, if those grapes had been in my fridge and I did not, like, separate them and, like, have them already washed, I wouldn't have snacked on them the way that I did this week. Same with the strawberries. I've actually been eating strawberries and, like, serving them in lunch and stuff. Because they were available. And that just goes to show you that when you have healthier options, you will reach for a healthy option because they're still good. And now they're convenient. I'm gonna show you. This is how many grapes I have left from my grocery haul earlier this week. And I'm gonna eat the last two good ones. Sorry. I know you're like, Leah, just take 
some medicine. No. Should I? Yes. Will I? No. Make it through for me. Hey, home hanging on my neck. The bracelet matches the set. My brother name is Tina Dollar. Stop all that back and forth over the net. My mama wish I would've went corporate. She wish I would've went exec. I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprinters to Quebec. Chevy, Uy, I'm on back. They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the Met. You know I gotta bring the set. You know I gotta bring the G block. You know I gotta bring the D block, cause you know how sticky it get. Hey. 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 She want me to play with that cat. Hey. She love how I make it on wet. Hey. You know how sticky it get. Hey. Hey, yo, Eric, bring them girls to the stage, cause somebody's getting paid. And free big slime out the cage. And Shorty try to play it cool, but now she wish she would've stayed Cause every song that I made is bring it like I got engaged huh? Love my guys, I wouldn't trade, ayy Run the cradle to the grave, ayy Gordo got me on a wave, ayy got me on a wave, ay. Couple of hits, now you're brave, boy You niggas better behave, boy All that pumping up your chest, boy All that talk about the best, boy You know how sticky it gets Yeah, if I'm with two of them, then it's a threesome. If she alone, you know she a freak one. If it's an escort, it's a police one. King of the hill, you know it's a steep one. If we together, you know it's a brief one. Back in the ocean, you know it's a, it's a deep one. Forgave niggas and they feelings. Lucky for y'all, we don't do civilians. You say I changed, I say that I'm millions. I did. The toughest act follows back on tour. Off road, made back, Pyrex, trap, Virgil came back through the boy. Damn. That's something to me, niggas really had they back turned to me I ain't talking my assistant when I say niggas down to pack something for me Then they thought they had a trap set for me How you really think that went for me? Niggas gotta do a fact check for me When everything is put on And everybody takes a And everything gets a It's you alone with your All that pumping up your All that talk about the You know how sticky it gets Like we weren't supposed to come up with this queen Something happened.
content creation at its finest. So a lot of times for my short format stuff, I edit on my iPad now. I was editing on my phone and I just got this little iPad stand. It's also a phone stand. This is the little stand. Um, but I just got edits from a brand that I absolutely adore for a piece of content that's going up. And so what I end up doing is I end up opening my double screen. I would show y'all, but like it, this is in my email, so I can't be like too in my business. Um, no, no, I don't need that. So I'll open up a double screen so I can work on my edits. The double screen is clearly not open, but. Or I'll just go back and forth. This is my first, no, this is my second time doing a paid brand deal on my Instagram story. And it is a little bit more complex than me doing a TikTok, I must say. Most of the time for, I think I've talked to y'all about this, but doing my Instagram story. So doing my Instagram story, I will do, most of the time if it's an Instagram story, it's also a reel or a TikTok as well. And so I will make the reel or the TikTok and then I just slice it to make it however many frames that I need to make it. Because this is 26 seconds divided by three, it ends up being like eight-ish seconds a piece. I don't remember how long it was. I'll have to go back. But um, this is a three-frame Instagram story. And like Instagram stories, I have the one, I think everyone has the one minute thing because I remember when everybody didn't have the one minute thing. But I'm not doing like one minute per whatchamacallit so i just do the full recording and make it as like i'm making a tiktok and then i'll just cut it for the frames and that's the way i do it and most brands allow that unless they specifically tell you in the brief to be like it has to be original content for the frames versus the real or versus the um short tiktok whatever so I like to do it that way and that way I get the edits for my long format and then have a copy I mean not long format that way I have a copy of like the actual like full piece and then I can play around with like the story frames if I need to to shorten them hey Siri what's 26 divided by 3 it's like 8 seconds each 26 divided by 38 is approximately no, 0 0.6842 Hey Siri, what's 26 divided by three? 26 divided by three is approximately 8.6666. Okay, yeah, about eight seconds. So, what is this piece? And yeah, so you can't like um, queue up the hyperlink, like the hyperlink isn't clickable when you're doing the edit. So I just, uh, what I do, if this makes any sense i'm trying to talk y'all through it because i can't really show y'all this i'll show you i can show you after it goes live i guess but i'll go ahead and queue up the hyperlink and just put any random link i usually link like an old video of mine to it randomly because like the brain can't click on it but that way it is a space saver for the hyperlink and then go ahead and send that off and then i'll also re-queue up all the ads and hashtags that go on it like I do it in the overlay so that the overlay can so they can see it in the overlay and like placement wise but I'll do it like actually in app on Instagram when it's time to post and I just have all of them like I have like the hashtags and at already on there and then I have the hyperlink ready and then I'll just copy and paste both of them per frame I hope that's making any sense to anybody I don't feel like Everybody wants to be a creator, so I don't know if that, if anyone cares. Y'all, I told y'all, I think I told the vlog a while ago that like I have been applying to jobs because I want a part-time job to go back to MA work and I couldn't find anything. And like anytime I did interview for like part-time stuff, they would like try to like force me to go full-time. I'm not looking for a full-time job. Like I'm so grateful to say that it's something that I just want to do but I don't have the capacity to have a full-time job and do content creation and go to school full-time. Like, I just cannot, okay? So I really genuinely don't want to do it. 
and this is the first time that I've had the opportunity where like I've had the option and the privilege to not have to like work full time while being in school and I don't want to go back to that but I miss working in an office I miss MA work I I like medicine I really do I'm a nerd and like that's just my vibe and like working with MA like working as an MA I am a, I am a certified CMA if y'all don't know I'm a certified CMA I have my RBT as well um I have my BS in bio I'm getting my MS and master's hi hello but um <laughs> I was talking to my boyfriend about that because like he said something and I was like because hmm, you got your degree and you think you know every fucking thing and he's like yeah that piece of paper do something and I was like yeah like baby I'll be bringing that piece of paper up every time I get the chance because it was so damn expensive and so many tears and blood and sweat went into that piece of paper but it's not neither here nor there but I just want it um just for shits and giggles honestly so I have an interview tomorrow and hopefully and it's in like the area that I want it to be in so we'll see what they're talking about and I don't really I'm not a stickler on how much they pay because like that shit don't matter you I can do a hot little two day a week and it's no problem like no skin off my nose but don't try to talk me into full time I don't want that and like don't try to like don't go too low especially because like i'm fluent enough in spanish that like i can do stuff in spanish if need be it is on my resume but i don't i purposely don't because they don't be paying enough for me to be speaking spanish in these offices like that little 50 cents difference i don't need it no 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 so i don't use it if i don't have to um or I don't, <laughs> I don't capitalize off of it if I don't have to, because also speaking Spanish makes me nervous to an extent. But I got enough that like, I got, anyway. But yeah, so I have a virtual interview tomorrow. We'll see how that goes, see what they're talking about. And maybe we'll be back in the office. And I'm going to ask if they're going to make me chop down my nails. I don't even know what type of office it is. I remember applying, but like. I, for the life of me, do not remember what type of office it is. It has to, I know it's not, I never applied to peds or geriatrics. Um, those are just not my preference most of the time. Um, I also don't like OB. I am okay with ortho. That's fine. Of course, plastic derm. Love them. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where... I don't know what gastrology. I don't think I would be against gastrology. Cardio. I would be interested in cardio because I don't have a cardio background and I don't know any cardiologists. So I feel like that would be cool to like learn on the ground. But yeah, that's who we are. And like, I'm again, I'm super grateful that I'm even in the place where I have the option of like, if it's not something that I want 100%, I don't have to do it. And I know that if I get a little part time job, like it's gonna pay for my nails, like for real, for real. But yeah, I just I miss it. I miss the structure because I feel like um, I haven't been great with keeping a schedule on my own recently especially after the holidays and i think i've talked to y'all about this but after the holidays i've just been so hard on myself of like i've been messing up my sleep schedule taking naps in the middle of the day i feel like i'm not working enough throughout the day like i feel like i'm not working well on a set nine to five schedule which means i'm answering emails before and after hours that means i'm trying to get work done like late at night and like i know i'm really lethargic this week because of my period but like i just haven't like even carving out the time specifically for studying i'm not getting up and like studying like monday tuesday wednesday working on or like monday tuesday working on content or like what was i doing studying on monday working on content on tuesday studying on like every other day and then i took my weekends off but i just haven't been good at having my own schedule and making my own schedule and I just need this so it's like if I know that I'm working on like I don't know Tuesday and Wednesday like 
to give me some structure. I'll be like, all right, I'm working on Tuesday and Wednesday. That means Monday, I know I need to get all my schoolwork done. And then, or Tuesday and Thursday, I said Wednesday. You know, like, I don't know if that makes sense to anybody else, but I really miss medicine. I really, really miss medicine. Like, I love medicine. I love touching stuff and having my hands on stuff. That's why I was so into surgery because like I'm very much like I'm a hands-on baby okay I'm a kinesthetic learner have been since day one which is probably also why histology has been beating my ass so bad because I don't have it in front of me it's not tangible like it's there but it's not completely there for me Okim did the same thing for me because Okim was just like so many it was like such an abstract concept to me and it was very set but it was like I couldn't touch it couldn't feel it couldn't see it for real like I couldn't even visualize it my brain didn't catch on as quickly and I think histology is doing the same thing to me because it's like I can't touch it can't see it like I'm not looking at it through a microscope like yeah I'm looking at these slides but it's not it's not doing the same thing for me so um yeah <laughs> just a little nerd chat <laughs>
for breakfast today, I had yogurt, my little pancake sausage thingy, pre-made thingies, and I took my vitamins. It's just been a boring day. We're not doing anything for it. Because tomorrow is going to be the day we're running around getting it done. The weather is bad, so I was going to try to get some stuff done today, but like, it's cloudy and kind of gross looking, so I kind of don't want to leave the house. Y'all know me. Um, I'm very much an ATLian. As soon as that weather starts looking a little gray, I'm going to sit the fuck down. Same. But I'm going to finish up the vlog. I'm going to eat lunch and we'll chat. Similar. Pick up a couple of things for dinner. We gotta hurry up though. Hello, my sweet baby angels. I know I look insane. Um, we're about to go to the grocery store. It's later on in the afternoon. I didn't really talk to y'all this morning. I did school drop off this morning, regular. I packed Honey's bag and my bag. <laughs> Packing his bag this morning was a shit show. Okay, I enlisted the help of Chicken Nugget. He did great. Love him so damn bad. But if y'all are new here, I don't know how to dress boys. I don't get nugget dress when like, even when I do school drop off, his daddy pick out the outfits beforehand because I cannot dress him. He's given me the free will to like dress him like once and I had him on a Jamaican muscle shirt. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. And his mom, it's, ah! it was terrible. It was terrible. So um, he does not allow me to dress him. I told him to let me try some more and then last night he was pulling out his clothes and he was trying to explain boy color theory to me and I was like I'm glad you're taking a little bit of time to try to do this uh because <laughs> I'm responsible for your outfits yeah so we got that done um but I got all his stuff I had told y'all I made lists so we're on I don't know why I'm sitting on the floor I'm just in the mood to sit on the floor right now okay so I had made on my list this is like the actual cabin trip list which is the last set of things I need to get and then I had packing list for both of us I had packing list for both of us so both of our bag bags are packed and I'm gonna run get the food related things and like drink related things and then I'm going to come home take a shower by that time he should be home from work so and then I did do like a clean of his house this morning because his dishwasher is broken. So you got to wash dishes by hand. But I had cooked last night, so it was my turn to wash dishes. And I, it, I know I talk about folding clothes, but washing dishes is not my ministry either. I'm just, I'm, I'm not, I'm not married. Um, yeah. So that's just not my jam, not my thing. And I'm just. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. But I did wash the dishes because I was like, oh, well, if he's going to be gone, like, it's not an unknowingly, like, just wash the dishes, girl. So I washed those. And everything else is called steady. The house is cleaned up. I am going to run my vacuum because I feel like my floors are always dirty. So I'm going to run that and let that go while I'm gone. But i did good i did good like the outfits hold on because i was in tears trying to get these outfits down like i asked i had to ask my instagram story if they were matching and i was asking that listen but i got it i did it i did it i got pimples i got a pimple like above my lip and then one right here so yeah all right, so let's go. I think we should go to the liquor store first, then the grocery store, come back here, take a shower, and we should be ready to go. And then I have all the um, login, login, check-in information for the place that we're going. All right, let's get to the grocery store. Wrong way. <laughs> Don't hit the car, Aaliyah. Boom. Um, there are certain things I don't say, right? Could never be me is one of them. And I don't say if he wanted to, he would. <laughs> right? 
Cause life be life be life and life be hard. Even when it comes to like friendships, like bitch, if they wanted to, they would. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you physically cannot. And let me tell you, this is harder. This is hard to like keep a secret and do all the things to like make some shit shake without my person knowing. It's hard. It's hard. The planning part is wasn't even the hardest part, bitch. It was the club. The clothes alone is enough. That is hard. I couldn't imagine my boyfriend trying to pick out an outfit for me. Even though he says I only wear two colors, which is true. It's either all black or all pink. Like, there's no in between. I'm going against my grain today. <laughs> and being a different. A little different. But, yeah. When people be like, oh, he picked out a dress and... Bitch, I can barely dress myself. How he dressing me? Wee. So the alcohol is secure. I end up getting tequila and um, like little margarita mixes for me because like I'm not a straight tequila drinker. I'm also gonna pick up some juice. I am gonna drink tequila and juice too. But um, I had to text my friend Quan because I was like, where do you buy ice at? Like, <laughs> why did I know that? Why didn't I know that? I was like, where do you buy ice at? And he's like, at Kroger, it's usually in the front, like, by the cashiers. And I'm like, you a real one. Cause I was sitting there thinking, I'm so stupid. And I'm just like, bro, where, where is this? I'm sorry, y'all, this world is so raggedy. Anyway, but yeah, so that's what we want to do. We're just gonna go pick up the food items, get the ice. I'm probably gonna grab some eggs too. I have some beef bacon in there, so I'm gonna take a pack of beef bacon. I have a lot of beef bacon because it's been on sale, so I've been buying it every time I go to the grocery store, like two packs at a time. So I'm gonna take some beef bacon with us, take some eggs, take the meats. I just need his meat, not my meat. I'm sorry. All right. And then yeah, also when we get back, Nugget has a project due the end of this week that's right yeah he has a project at the end of this week for black history month so we need to work on that he also has this like thing for his class due um as well and we need to finish up we started working on it last night and him and i were like <laughs> i told you me and him be arguing and like it's not even like they're not real arguments but like we're the same person personality wise because he'd be like I'm right and I'd be like well I'm right and so his dad was our tiebreaker while we were doing that it was cool it's actually it was kind of fun like we had it, it, I'll explain the project some more all right let's go into Krogi oh he left his little he finished uh Demon Slayer which is this one seven today this morning on the way to school all right bitch we're home I'm scared now. Like this most people feel like I'm proposing. Like I'm a girl. I'm just a girl. I don't feel like I'm supposed to be, you know, but show our man some love. I'm packing seasoning because we need those. I don't feel like I need my salt and pepper shakers. So I'm gonna leave them because I'll be mad if I leave them there. Alright, what I got from this is a different Lunazula than the one we had and the lady at the liquor store said she had never tried this so we gonna give it a little go. It was more expensive. I got these. I thought these would be good, right? Just... I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Cause what if he'd be like, bitch, I don't wanna go. <laughs> what if he'd be like, ho, I don't wanna go. I'm trying to hurry up so I can go get in the shower. I got some milk for our eggs for the next morning. I got water. I got another pack of beef bacon. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in a bag. Whatever we don't use, if we don't use the whole pack, because I doubt we will, we can bring it home. 
I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. It really feels like I'm proposing to this man. I got a ribeye. I got some juice to go with the tequila. Just make, I don't feel like I really need to drink this orange juice for his breakfast the next morning because he's an orange juice drinker. Let me grab that piece of salmon. A little piece of salmon that's going to be my dinner. And I'm also taking these little, the balls that I bought from Trader Joe's the other day. Is there anything in here that I can, okay. Let's take two of these out. slices because we will fuck up some apple slices in like 30 minutes like in one sitting I love our project poop mm -hmm. that's it for a couple minutes because I told them they weren't really gonna see me this weekend. They were like, not until Monday. And I'm like, girl, we got stuff to do. Why is this way? I'm gonna take my iPad and my laptop um, with me. I don't really need my laptop. I could just take my iPad. I could just take my iPad. I could just take my iPad. him walking in because like he still doesn't know what the fuck we're doing he just knows that he's supposed to come over afterward i'm so scared why does this feel like proposing to a man what if he says no <laughs> what if he says no hey siri pause yes okay y'all he should, he should be here.
he's here. Like, he, he's here. You're safe. Here is the room. It's so cute. So they have a little sitting area, and then here's the bed and projector. Y'all see that? Yeah. They have plenty of mirrors. We just turned the fireplace on. We got in. The view is insane. So nice. Here's the bathroom. Cute. So sick. And then there's the little kitchenette area and there's a closet over there. It's rainy today, so I doubt we get to like hang outside, but there's a jacuzzi and a grill. But yeah. That's our little home play for the night. Hey, Coleman hanging on my neck. The bracelet match is a set. My brother name is Tina Dollar, stop all that back and forth over the net My mama wish I would've went corporate, she wish I would've went exec I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect Hey, two sprinters to Quebec, Chevy, boy, I'm on back They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the 